Hey guys, it's Mike from Bigfoot Trailers again here to do a video on our Yeti model equipment trailers. Uh, this video is going to cover the 15K Yeti and the 18K Yeti. Both trailers have an integral uh, I-beam frame where the tongue and the trailer is all one piece. It has a built-in toolbox, which I'm going to show you more in a couple of minutes. It has extremely heavy duty front jack system especially for a 14k trailer with a heavy duty demco easy latch coupler which is the absolute best there is made in the united states always goes on the ball even if it's closed it'll always go on the ball again in this particular trailer that we're looking at is a 18 uh, 15k the only way you'd be able to tell the difference from the 18k uh, to the 15K is the I-beam is thicker and the uh, tire size. Otherwise, just looking around the trailer, you would uh, not be able to tell the difference. They're exactly the same. So we use a heavy duty Ram or Bulldog jack on every trailer with a spring loaded leg. All you have to do is pull this pin and the leg will spring back up. That makes it way faster to unhook and hook up. We always use adjustable safety chain stays so you can pull a pin and adjust the safety chain so you don't have to twist them or have them dragging on the ground. We always put uh, on the Yetis, we always put a little ring here so that you guys have a place to hook your chains up. Going around the trailer, the Yeti has the big 5 8 D rings. It has uh, big six inch stake pockets with rub rail, a nice big step. There's steps on the fenders. Everything you see on this trailer in this video is exactly the, the base model, except for the spare tire, which is an option. It would have a spare tire mount already on the trailer, but the spare tire itself would have been an option. Everything else on this trailer is exactly the way uh, you'd get one if you ordered one and, and came in to pick it up. We use fabricated fenders, which we fabricate ourselves, made out of eighth inch plate steel, not little 14 gauge thin steel like everybody else. Dexter axles, which I'm gonna talk about more at the end of the video, with self-adjusting brakes on always on a Bigfoot trailer, you have self-adjusting brakes, which is extremely important. Steps on the front and back of the fender, rub rail behind. We're gonna be the only trailer company that's gonna let you see our welding in the videos up close. Every weld on this trailer is absolutely outstanding and it will always be super high quality on our trailers, especially on our flagship model, the Yeti. This trailer has rear tubing. It's a two by eight quarter wall tubing. It's gonna be the heaviest duty 15K trailer you're ever gonna see rear end wise. Most everybody uses a stamped C channel on the back of the trailer. This one's a heavy duty square tube. Nice wide ramps, gonna have spring assist to help you lift the ramps the ramps are adjustable and removable they get to about 19 inches from each other so you can load just about anything the width of this trailer on the deck which is pretty much standard on all our equipment trailers is 83 inches between the fenders led lights of course so i told you that at, toward the latter part of the video i was going to talk about the axles um, we used to use Lippert axles. We used to use other brands of locally made axles, Chinese made axles, and every single brand of axles we used, we had a lot of warranty problems. This trailer has Dexter drop axles, the best that they make on the 7Ks for the, the 15K model with self-adjusting brakes, as I mentioned. Absolutely, in my whole career of 40,000 trailers, I've never once had a, a axle break or any kind of major problem at all with a Dexter axle. With the 18K model Yeti, you actually have torsion axles, so there's no springs. The 15K torsion is an option that you have to pay a little extra for if you'd like to have torsion axles on your 15. The 18K Yeti comes standard with torsion axles, so you don't have any springs. They're rubber torsion where each wheel is independent suspension. The Yeti is painted with Exalta, the old DuPont Imron. It's the same paint that they use on Peterbilt semis, uh, airliners flying through the sky, trains. It's extremely tough, extremely expensive. Two-part urethane primer and a two-part urethane top coat. 
that has a very high gloss. It'll be one of the glossiest trailers that you're going to see. Stays that way for years and years and years. It's extremely impact resistant. So rocks and things that are coming off your truck and hitting the trailer aren't going to knock all the paint off. Last thing I want to show you on this trailer is the toolbox. It's uh, approximately 10 inches deep, maybe 11 inches deep. The entire tongue is a storage box. Like on all our trailers, you have a battery backup, battery backup system for your brakes if it comes off the trailer, off the truck. And it has a float charger built in so that this battery isn't overcharged. It should always be ready to go when you need it.